Welcome to a new episode of The Opening School. It's a well-known fact that anyone can play chess, young, old, tall or short. The only thing that matters is how well you actually play. Recently, we were reminded of this when Chinese prodigy international master Yi Wei won against French super grandmaster Maxime Vachier Lagrave and secured his last grandmaster norm, becoming a grandmaster at the tender age of 13 years, 8 months and 23 days. Of course, we'll dedicate this episode to the opening years in that game. The game began with a very standard continuation, e4, c5, knight to f3, and knight to c6. In this position, white plays d4 almost by reflex. But of course, there are also other viable options in this position. White decided to play bishop to b5. White is taking it slow and wants to have a solid center instead of the active center, which occurs after d4. Black continued by playing d6, which was followed by castle kingside, bishop to d7, and rook to e1. White doesn't push forward in the center with d4 since it's simply not needed. Black can't block a future advance in any effective way, making the de developing the pieces a solid choice. The perks of rook to e1 becomes obvious after black's next move in knight to f6. If not for the rook, the pawn on e4 would be threatened, forcing white to defend it by moves like d3 or knight to c3, obstructing white from developing according to plan. Because now white should play c3, preparing for d4. Black played a6, forcing the white bishop away, and after this move, another advantage of rook to e1 becomes to li comes to light. Since the rook moved from f1, the square is now open for the bishop, allowing a retreat. Black's next move, bishop to g4, might seem strange. Why move to d7, only to later continue to g4? Well, the reason behind this is that black wanted to avoid getting double pawns on, c, uh, on the c-file, but since the bishop was chased away, there's nothing stopping black from relieving the bishop from his previous duty. Well, uh, the game now continued with d4, and it changed in d4 and e5. Again, black plays a not too obvious move. The pawn on d6 looks terrible, but in turn it helps to shatter the uh, solidity of the white center. To capture an e5 is not really an option, since that would only lead to a position where black has a more comfortable position because of its better development. So what did white play? Well, white decided to advance with the d-pawn, easing up the tension in the center by playing d5. If we stop here for a while and think about what we are used to seeing in the more common lines of the Sicilian, we see a great difference in how the position has developed. Instead of an open and active position where both sides use their pieces to control the center, we have a rather closed position where the entire center is blocked by pawns. Many players believe closed positions such as these to be boring, since this leaves little space for tactics. But that is not really the case, as this game shows above all else. Black has to move his knight, and he chooses to place it on d4, the only active choice. White can of course not take the knight because of the pin by the bishop on g4. This means that black th threatens to capture the knight on f3, causing double pawns on the f-file, and opening up the, king the white king side on the same time. How should white counter this? Well, actually, white shouldn't since, since it's no need for it. Of course, it might look strange, that a, but a pawn on f3 would only strengthen the white center, and the damage to the safety of the king isn't that great. So white played bishop to e3, forcing the knight to capture an f3, with, after which white, uh, of course, recaptured with the pawn, and once again, the bishop retreated to d7. This was in turn followed by a4, knight to h5, Queen to b3, g5, queen takes on b7, rook to g8, knight to d2, and g4. Black went for an all-out attack, and if you want to see how white defended the position, take a look at the entire game. It's really something. But with that, we end this week's opening of the opening school. Bye.